Elon Musk has surprised everyone once again. He announced on X that Tesla will now work not just on batteries, but also on hydrogen fuel cell technology. This means that water-powered cars could soon become a reality. This decision comes at a time when Tesla is facing major challenges in mass-producing its 4,680 battery cell. Perhaps that's why Musk is now moving toward new and more sustainable energy technologies. Imagine if cars started running on water, it would change everything petrol, diesel, and even charging stations. Many experts believe this decision could disrupt the entire auto industry in the near future. But the big question remains, will this engine actually work? And how will it affect the automotive industry and other sectors? You'll find all the answers in this video, so stay tuned until the end, because what we're about to reveal will truly surprise you. And yes, subscribe to the channel to see more interesting and authentic updates. Tesla's story a revolution in motion. Before learning about Tesla's new engine idea, it's important to understand Tesla's journey because this company wasn't born like any other car brand. It was founded in 2003 by a group of engineers who dreamed of a world that would one day replace petrol and diesel cars with electric ones. At that time, most people believed electric cars were slow, weak, and boring. But when Elon Musk joined this mission, everything changed. Musk not only invested his own money, but also gave Tesla a new direction with his bold thinking and vision. He made it clear, we will make cars that are fast, stylish, and fully electric. This vision later made Tesla the world's most popular auto company. Tesla's first model, the Roadster, was based on a Lotus sports car, but it was completely electric. For the first time, people realized electric cars could accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in seconds. It wasn't just a car, it was a message. Electric is the future. Following the Roadster came the Model S, which launched Tesla into the luxury car market. Its range, performance, and innovations like Autopilot amazed the world. It was the first electric car that was both beautiful and powerful. Then came the Model X, an SUV with falcon wing doors. It looked so futuristic that even luxury automakers had to rethink their designs. But Tesla's true mass market breakthrough came with the Model 3 designed to be affordable for middle class buyers. Despite its lower price, it offered cutting edge features and technology. The Model 3 gave Tesla the recognition that pushed every major automaker to enter the EV race. Around 2020, Tesla introduced the Model Y, an SUV version of the Model 3. It became hugely popular among families, and within a few years, the Model Y turned into the world's best-selling car, not just in the EV category, but overall. This marked Tesla's biggest victory. Electric cars were no longer a luxury experiment, but a mainstream choice, changing the world's perception. Elon Musk's greatest strength was that he changed how people viewed electric cars. Before Tesla, EVs were seen as limited in range, slow to charge, and low in performance. But Tesla solved these issues with its supercharger network and continuous battery innovation that pushed driving ranges above 600 kilometers, something once thought impossible. Tesla proved that EVs could be eco-friendly, high performance, and technologically advanced at the same time. The turning point, beyond batteries, now, Tesla stands at a critical turning point. The company has struggled with the mass production of its next generation 4,680 battery cell. Manufacturing challenges and costs have pushed Tesla to explore alternative technologies. This is where the idea of a water engine or hydrogen technology has captured global attention. The big reveal. What is a water engine? Before diving into Tesla's plan, let's clarify what a water engine or hydrogen-based system really means. Many people think that adding water to a car's tank could make it run, but that's a myth. Water itself isn't a fuel because it doesn't contain usable energy. Instead, it must be broken down to extract hydrogen, which is the real fuel. This is done through a process called electrolysis. In electrolysis, water, H2O, is split into hydrogen, H2, and oxygen O2 using electricity. This process requires energy usually from renewable sources like solar or wind. The hydrogen is then stored in special tanks and later fed into a fuel cell. Inside the fuel cell, hydrogen reacts with oxygen to produce electricity, which powers the car's motor. The only byproduct is water vapor, no smoke, no CO2, no pollution. That's why this technology is often called zero emission or clean energy. Sometimes you'll hear the term reverse electrolysis. It's not a new process. It's just another name 
for what happens inside a hydrogen fuel cell. Electrolysis uses electricity to make hydrogen. Reverse electrolysis creates electricity from hydrogen. Is Tesla really building a water-powered car? So far, neither Elon Musk nor Tesla has officially used the term water engine. However, Musk has always supported innovation in sustainable energy research. So for now, the water engine should be viewed as an idea or experimental direction, not a confirmed product. Hydrogen is an extremely light gas with high energy density. That means a small amount of hydrogen can deliver a large amount of power. If produced and stored safely, it could become a clean alternative to petrol and diesel. Japanese automakers like Toyota and Hyundai are already ahead in this race. Their vehicles, such as the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo, are marketed as hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs. They don't run on water, but from hydrogen, and the only thing coming out of their exhaust pipes is pure water vapor. Why Tesla might explore hydrogen now? The challenges of 4,680 battery production have been tougher than Tesla expected. That's why Musk and his engineers are now studying alternatives that could reduce Tesla's long-term dependence on traditional batteries. Hydrogen-based energy systems are one of the most promising options. This doesn't mean Tesla has already built a water-powered car, but it's very possible that the company will soon experiment with fuel cell hybrids or hydrogen integration systems. The clean loop concept. When hydrogen is produced using renewable energy, like solar or wind, and then used to generate electricity that powers vehicles, it forms a clean closed loop system. Electricity splits water into hydrogen. Hydrogen produces electricity again, and the only byproduct is water. No more choosing between performance and practicality. Tesla is giving you both and delivering it at scale. And thanks to the new design, simplicity, lower material needs and reduced complexity, Tesla's cost to build each unit has dropped significantly. Whether they pass those savings to customers or keep the margin, the edge is theirs. When you push this far ahead, the rest don't just fall behind, they fall apart. Let's see how the competition handled the hit. Knocking out the competition. Tesla's competition is falling behind and fast. Not long ago, it looked like the EV race would be tight. Big name car makers like Ford, General Motors, Toyota and Volkswagen were pouring in billions. Startups like Lucid and Rivian promised bold innovation. Chinese giant BYD was dominating global sales. For a minute, it really seemed like Tesla's lead might not last. Then came the carbon wrap motor and everything changed. Most of these legacy automakers still build electric cars using platforms designed for gasoline engines. That means their EVs are heavier, less efficient and more expensive to make. Their factories were built for gas-powered cars, not electric ones. And they rely heavily on suppliers for key parts, especially batteries. Tesla doesn't. Every Tesla is designed from scratch to be electric.